Ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting to do this for a while. This is possibly, without a doubt, my favorite game in the series. If you haven't known by now about the title, it's Saints Row 2. And not a moment too soon, as this actually been released on the release date of Saints Row 4. Bear in mind, this is the second to last Saints Row game THQ will have a hand in, because Deep Space from here on in will have, well, all authority of Saints Row. Pretty much. Anyway, Saints Row 2 is probably a more advanced game than Saints Row 1, but it's much more difficult than Saints Row 3, or the third if you will. I'm gonna start a new game because I could easily just go into one of my previous games and actually play through all the missions, but I'd rather show you how things work. Otherwise you won't get this cutscene. And I'll explain everything after the cutscene's over with. So with that said, let's get you started. You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. That's right, dead woman. She sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. He wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Now I bet you're wondering, why are we in prison in a coma? Well, due to the events of Saints Row 1, and most of the people that the prison guard mentioned that we quote-unquote killed, I can say that about only one of them, okay, maybe two, you're in prison in a coma. So, with this, you have to pretty much start over from the beginning, because at the end of the first game, you literally took over the city. And, well, that didn't end well. Now here, what I'm doing is creating my character. You can make him look what, however you want, whatever you want, and start the game. And if you're not satisfied at how your character looks, there is a shop, I do believe, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, it's the plastic surgeon shop. It'll cost you money to uh, change your face, but it'll get rid of notoriety. And it'll also change your face or sex or skin color or your fighting style. I like that walk better. And speaking of fighting styles, you'll have to unlock the fighting styles as you play games. Well, as you play the missions. Let me give it up for way to go. I'll just pick one. You and me, we go into the top. Oh, and they have okay, that one works too. And they have set um, phrases for each taunt. So, with that said, let's continue, shall we? And we'll also be introduced to a new character. Yes, that looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Hey. Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely. I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job, and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. 
Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the Saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Man, I don't know, man. Two or three weeks? Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. Well, that was Carlos, ladies and gentlemen, and he's going to help us get out. But first, the mechanics of the game. Left trigger and right trigger is to attack, but at the same time, if you hold them together, they'll block. Charging the two will have a powerful attack. And when you get different melee styles, I do believe there was one particular melee style that's better than what you have right now. Actually, it's the best in the game, and I'll get to it when I get to it. Anyway... We have only one or two ways to go, either through the front or through the roof. We're going out through the roof, because the front door, even though it is the fastest way out, it's not the safest way. At least here you can actually pick up more guns. And at this point... Oh wait, I did pick up a baton, so never mind. You can actually pick up more weapons here than what you will from going out the front door. So the mechanics of the game is simple. You press X to jump, B will cycle through your weapons, the control pad will cycle through your healing items. The left button, the left bumper is for the hostages pressing left and right bumper together. Let's not get shot. We'll throw them. Holding down the left control stick will crouch, right control stick will approve your aim, the right bumper is the dash, and I think that, oh and Y is to break into vehicles and kick down doors, or push doors, whichever symbol is on there first. I tried to grab him, but unfortunately that did not happen. One thing I can say about the Saints Row series, even though you are gangsters, and this is kind of real life or realistic, you can still regenerate. I know it's kind of odd, but hey, it works for me. So, let's just get this gun here that I just acquired and blast my way out of this prison. No, not pistol whip, blast! Even though it would be funny to pistol up some of these guards. Now, here's the deal. You see that 93 there? That's also your cash. Some of these... And so many enemies, civilians, cops, whatever, will drop money. And, of course, if you pick it up, you can actually spend it on items. That you could get from the store. And if you don't like the way your character looks, again, there is a plastic surgery store known as MHS Design. Yes, it actually dawned on me, and you could always buy the character's new looks. I can't believe I just brought that up. But anyway, shoot your way out of this place. See, it's so much easier to do it here than what it is to go out the front door, even though both ways lead out of the prison. And to the dock. Told you I'd get you out of here. We're not out yet. Now then. Getting busted in this game. I might as well tell you this now, because chances are it's gonna happen later on. The only way you could get busted is if the cops literally have you pinned to the ground and arrest you. As opposed to Grand Theft Auto where they could just point their guns at your car and pull you out. Here in this game, the cops will shoot and open fire on your car. If you're in the car. But more importantly, the cops are just going to shoot to kill. 
Cause they know you are a dangerous psychopath. And now to use my- oh! Already I'm using my crazy driving skills! I mean crazy taxi driving skills. And I shot down a helicopter! How did I achieve that? More importantly, how did getting sideswiped out of a car cause me to get kicked out of the car? I don't know. But, no matter. To the docks I go. Yeah, they don't make offers just like they used to. I mean, this game is easier than the first game, but it's harder than Saints Row the Third. Man the gun! I'm gonna get us out of here! Cause at least this game doesn't make it to where you'll be well, pretty much invincible. But anyway. Just shoot down everything that comes in your way. You see that meter that's right underneath jailbreak? When that meter runs out, your boat will be destroyed and you'll have to start from where you got on the boat. So that's basically the checkpoint. Ah. More cops. In case all of you are wondering, yes, this is on normal difficulty. I'm not playing this on hardcore because hardcore does more damage, even though the difficulty is pretty much the same. And that just means your character takes more damage, and so does your vehicle. That's the only thing hardcore is for. What are you waiting for? Take those cops out! <laughs> I sandwiched some boats and blew them up. Nice. And he ran into the bridge! <laughs> this is awesome. Another easier way, aside from blowing up the boats, you can incapacitate the driver of the boats or the helicopters. Either way, you'll be home free. They won't be bothering you once you get to this certain part and once you blow up all the cops. But see, a straightforward mission. Not all the missions in this game is going to be straightforward. There are going to be some hard ones. And with that, I have completed the first mission of this game. It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved. The clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ulter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. And with that, I am done with the first mission. So, from here on in, after the second mission, which we'll be taking on in the next episode, we'll have to literally grind for respect in order to play any other missions afterwards. This is RP Man 985 I'm going to get me a new outfit and get out of these jail clothes and continue my conquest of Steelwater in part two. See you guys next time.